My name is Victor Triay. I'm going to introduce uh, the next speaker. Um, I always, I, several years ago, well not several years ago, about three years ago, I did uh, an event with Carlos in Connecticut, uh, in Danbury, and that time I got to take the podium first, and then I gave my spiel, and then he went and did his, and I remember listening to him, uh, and I was telling myself, uh, thank God I didn't have to follow him. <laughs> I would never want to take the podium after him. Um, because I never get bored listening to him. Um, but I'm here to introduce uh, Dr. Juan Clark. Um, I guess I met uh, Dr. Car uh, Clark vicariously when I was working on my master's thesis at Florida State, and I picked up his book, uh, Religious Repression in Cuba. I never met him, uh, but I got to know his works. Um, he is the Emeritus Professor of Sociology at Miami-Dade College, and for over 40 years has been uh, a major publisher, researcher in the field. Um, I actually met him uh, when I was working on my Pedro Pank project, and it was the first time I did, and he gave me a great help and uh, uh, great support. I quote him uh, in the book, and then of course later when I was working on my Bay of Pigs book, uh, I knew that he was a veteran, and so I sought him out, and he gave me another excellent interview that helped tremendously. And of course he set me up also with a lot of other Bay of Pigs veterans, uh, who turned out to be some of the best interviews I had in the book. Um, I've used his books on several occasions. I don't think I've ever worked on a project where I haven't consulted um, uh, him and his works. And of course, he's already been informed that um, I'm retaining his services in my current project. Uh, I think you were supposed to bring something to me today. I, I hope you brought it. <laughs> anyway, um, he's a pillar of this community. He's, he's a fellow educator uh, and a person I consider probably the most valuable scholarly asset of the Cuban exile community, and it's my great pleasure to welcome him. Dr. Clark.